Next, on how does it work, the flexible rotary power tool. To transmit movement through a flexible cable, it has to be rigid and flexible at the same time. Its secret weapon, a helix. The flexible rotary power tool. It turns a burr to calf. With a heavy high-powered motor separated from the handpiece by a flexible cable, work can be done with ease. But there's a problem. The rotary movement of the motor must be transmitted to the tool through a flexible body. And a flexible body is a body that can be deformed. In order to properly transmit the rotary movement from the motor to the handpiece, this cable must not be deformed by that movement. So how can the rotary movement of the motor be transmitted through a flexible cable without twisting or deforming that cable? By the use of a helix-shaped structure. This kind of structure allows both flexibility and transmission of movement. But how does it work? The flexible rotary power tool, the control pedal, the motor, the flexible cable, the handpiece, and the burr. When the pedal is pressed, the electric motor begins to turn. It can reach 2,000 revolutions per minute. These revolutions are transmitted along the flexible cable to the handpiece, and the burr turns at the same speed. And what's found inside the cable allows the rotation of the motor to reach the handpiece. Surprisingly, the cable doesn't twist, it doesn't deform, and all the power of the motor is transmitted directly to the burr. To really understand how this is possible, let's take it apart. The secret of the flexible cable is an intricate assembly of steel wires. There's a primary central wire around which are wound five steel wires. Five other steel wires are wrapped around this first coil, but in the reverse direction. And five more wires reversed, and finally five more again in the reverse direction. Each of these wires is a helix-shaped structure. It's this structure that allows the cable to be flexible, meaning it can be deformed by bending without being deformed by rotation, which allows it to transmit the rotary movement of the motor without twisting. The helix structure responds rather uniquely to rotational movement. Instead of twisting itself, the structure actually contracts. And if the rotation goes in the opposite direction, the structure dilates. Now, if the cable was made of only one steel wire, it could not transmit fully and completely the rotary movement of the motor, because it would be deforming either by contracting or dilating. But by wrapping five wires one way over five wires the opposite way, four times, each coil prevents its neighboring coil from contracting or dilating. So when one coil wants to dilate, its neighbor wants to contract. When the next is inclined to dilate, and so on. Simply put, this wire assembly is rigid while rotating. It cannot twist. So the rotation that happens at one end of the cable is transmitted in its entirety to the other end. Although each layer of wires prevents its neighbor from contracting or dilating, each wire individually can still move within the assembly, conserving its natural flexibility. Rigid during rotation while remaining flexible not bad. The flexible rotary power tool. Steel wires wound intricately to create a helix shape. It transmits the high-powered rotary movement of the motor through a flexible cable right to the burr. Powerful, efficient and practical. <laughs>